Hi everyone! Welcome to your art class. For today, we will continue to discuss about visual art in the local area. So let's begin with Nang Talong or Shadow Play. It's beautifully crafted from water buffalo or sheep skin. It's famous ancient play from the south. Nang Talong or Shadow Play. Next, next local artwork is the Kolim Boat. Has a colorful and beautiful pattern of people from south. So we have two local artworks from south. The Nang Talong or the Shadow Play and the Kolim Boat that has colorful and beautiful pattern. Now let's proceed with how to create local visual artwork. In the past, folk artists in each region have chosen materials found in their local area to create homes, utensils for use in their daily lives. Many of these materials and tools can be found in the surrounding nature. For example, they would use thick wood, smoke wood, bamboo, yandipao, krajud, cook, reed, jute, straw, clay, coconut shells, or coconut sticks, palm leaves, or sugar palm leaves. Pop artists use their wisdom and experience to select natural materials from their local area to create regional artwork. So those are examples of natural things that they can find and use for their local artworks. Materials and equipment we use to create visual artwork First, waving. Again, waving. This is a skillful way of using bamboo. Again, this is a skillful way of using bamboo to create different shapes. Besides bamboo, reed, jute, and yandipao, can be used to wave just as beautiful as bamboo. Number two, wood carving. Wood carving. Wood carving use thick wood. is commonly used in carving because traditionally there were many thick trees. Thick wood is strong and it is last a long time. Other woods came from amaka or mukman trees. Most materials and tools that folk artists use are simple, such as a large and small chisel or wooden hammer. This skillful and creative artist have been producing valuable visual artwork until the present day. The picture that you can see on your screen is a wood carving door of Tiwarat Kunkorn, Wurawihar. Number three, textile. Textile. Textile cloth is produced by silk worm cocoon or cotton flower. Again, it is produced by silkworm cocoon or cotton flower, which is spun into string, then are waved into cloth sheets. And number four is cement sculpture. Again, cement sculpture. The carving and glass decorations inside temples are all examples 
of local artwork which is valuable to Thailand and its people. And the last one is temple wall painting. Most of the paintings tell story of Buddhism. These flat colors and lines without shadows are beautiful and unique. The fine kanok Thai image are all adopted from nature. Local visual artwork is very valuable and worth studying. It is a national legacy and it's something we should preserve. So that's all for today class. I hope you understand about visual art in the local area. Please review for your unit test. Thank you.